Hello, we're back. M. Joy here with my last book report from 2020. So the goal was read three books a month in the year of 2020. Um, looking at this bookshelf, thinking I want all this in here. How am I going to do that? I need to put a time frame and uh, some sort of boundary and commitment to it. So I was aiming for three a month, which would have been 36 in the year. And it looks like the average actually turned out to be two books a month. So I read 24 in total. Um, this is the last book that I read. You are a badass at making money by Jen Sincero. I do love this author. Um, she's snarky with a lot of humor um, and knows how to pitch sort of self helpy concepts that for a lot of people, you know, may have an adverse reaction to it, but she knows how to just normalize it and make it kind of cool. Um, so, you know, this was perfect timing uh, for me to read that near the end of the year. So this took a while, I'll say, because I really wanted to work whatever kind of tools that she offers as a suggestion. So every, you know, few pages or so, there was a prompt to journal. So this, this took a while. And certain books take longer than others, and I think that's probably why I averaged out at two a month. But I'm so glad that I aimed for three a month because then I wouldn't have read 24 books. I've never read 24 books in a year. So 2020 was great for that, uh, for me. But yeah, so to come back to this, um, this one will give you plenty of prompts and things to think about and write about and flush out. So um, I, I loved reading this book. Um, really what this one boils down to is the importance of meditation, uh, having your own spin on that. She doesn't say how to meditate. She's just like, Hey, it's a practice, figure out your own vibe, your own thing. Um, and just go for it. And then she also talks about the importance of affirmations. And I want to tell you all something. Affirmations have been hard for me, um, up until very recently. I wouldn't understand the value Previously, I, it was hard for me to see the value in saying a lie out loud over and over <laughs> or what feels like a lie, you know, what doesn't feel like resonant and true quite yet. I want it to be the case, but it's just not the case. Now I understand, hey, acting is a skill and acting is important. Uh, so go ho Hollywood for teaching us that. But really, my, my affirmations that I've been saying, I've truly been having um, a shift internally. And so some of my go-to affirmations that I've gained now are, uh, you know, I deserve to be seen and heard. I deserve to get what I want. And what's the other one? <laughs> um, and I advance in my life every day. So those help me, you know, and uh, for those kind of topics, you know, maybe those wouldn't resonate for you, but that's the beauty of affirmations, you know, you get to make your own. Um, and I made mine, again, I talk about this a lot, but with help from, you know, a mentor, uh, examples uh, from coaching, you know, I've, I've done this, I've shaped them with the help of people that know me reflecting back to me what they see and, uh, how to best support me. So it's been really cool. I do recommend, uh, this book. You are a badass at making money by Jen Sincero. She's got a great voice, really accessible. Um, and I hope you enjoy it if you check it out. Okay, bye.